Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode, Suji here as usual. Would it be right to start an episode without a level up at first, so let's quickly use this one spell. Oh, and we didn't get it, okay, let's do another one. Bit awkward there, but not a- Oh, are you kidding me? I must flash when I am recording, but yeah, anyways, there we go for 71 magic and I guess let's get on with the episode. So I feel like doing a few quests, so I guess I will follow my quest list from from that from level 3 to escape list and see how far we can go. Uh, currently started the wanted quest, so I guess I will complete that one first and then we will see how far we can go. Are you kidding me? You know on this part of the quest I guess you get hit for like, well a lot. So the servant apparently saved me to the Falador castle, but my ring of uh, life still popped, so I guess thank you for wasting my ring of life quest. And there we go, the quest is completed, 1 quest point 5k slayer xp, did we get a slayer level from this? Oh my god, I don't care about your blabbering, just let me go. Oh yeah, we don't, Um. anyways, I guess let's go and pick another quest from the list. And there we go for another quick one, a soul's being this time, one quest point, some new VXP, I don't think that will give me anything, so yeah, I guess let's move on and pick ourselves another quest. And there we go, what's mine is yours is done as well, new VXP at this point, that I, at this point, actually, sorry, I remember after the rework that could at uh, this quest, there is quite a few completion escape requirements and you, and you get quite a lot of smithing or mining XP which will help me a lot because I will claim the smithing XP when I will do it. So anyways, let's go ahead and pick another quest from the list. And I guess there we go for the start of recipe for disaster for... I don't even know how, you know, for which time because I did this quest for so many times now but... Anyway, still obviously loads of parts of this quest to go, and I guess let's get started with it. And this should complete the first part of the quest. And yeah, there we go, we have freed the goblins, 1k cooking, 1k crafting, and 1k farm. What? What's farming XP from? Well, I guess, not gonna complain about getting free farming XP, but I guess, there we go, and 7 more council members left to save. And there we go for another one, Throne of Miscellanea this time, guys, one quest point, and I guess the approval rating unlocked, but now I guess I need to do the another one, I think it's called Royal Trouble, <clears throat> sorry, where I will be able to start gathering the, you know, resources from this area, because it's about time I fixed this place, you know, so I started working on that, oh my god, <clears throat> I have something in my throat, sorry for uh, for that guys, but yeah, so anyways, I think I'm gonna go that quest and after that I will be eligible to go and finish some Sears uh, diary, so not finish, I mean to progress towards Sears diary because I checked my tests and I only need one more quest for that, so anyways, lots of stuff to go to do, so without any overdo, I guess let's start working on it. And there we go, followed by another one, Royal Trouble is completed. 20k coins, 5k agility xp, 5k slayer xp, 5 hp xp, increased resources from miscellaneous, so yeah, I guess, oh, we get a slayer level, not bad, 62 slayer, but yeah, I guess we can now finally start working on getting those supplies from miscellaneous now, also we'll quickly just go and buy those 5 sitters I need, and we'll do easy Sears diaries, so yeah, lots of stuff to do, I guess, uh, and without any overdo, let's go do them. And there we go, the last task is about to be done, so let's plant the seeds and this should drop. There we go, congratulations, you have completed all the easy tasks in Sears Village set. Speak to any of the Sears in Village to claim your reward. So, actually this is not bad because I only need like one quest and like few summoning levels and I will be able to do medium diary as well. So, yeah, this is working out pretty damn well, I guess I must say. Oh my god, you guys, look at this, congratulations, you have completed all the tasks in Easy Wilderness Task Set. Speak to Mr. X North of Edgeville Bank. Holy fucking shit, this is the definition of 
will so steal you guys. I thought I would go ahead and, you know, YOLO the easy task for Vildi as well. I think I can do mediums as well, but I was doing the last task, which was obviously these memories, and a white showed up, a level 120 white, uh, 21 white. I legit almost shot myself. That was so scary. I instantly just went south and uh, lobbied because if he could have attacked me, he would have demolished me because he was a mage as well. And look at me. What, what, I'm, what am I? Like, oh shit, that was scary as fuck. Anyways, I will, uh, I guess, attempt number two. I will go and try to go to that bandit camp and buy that herb uh, seed and stuff, complete tasks from there. And I will see if I can do the mediums one now as well. Hopefully, I don't die. Okay, so I did check and I can do all the medium tasks, but. To be fair, these tasks are a lot easier. You need to go to high wildy, which is obviously mage bank and stuff, and build the agility arena. So I don't think I will YOLO these tasks. I will try until and I guess and ask one of my friends to help me or whatever. And now I guess I'm still happy to complete at least easy diaries. By the way, I claim the reward and those I give me two lamps which give 10k XP. I used one on Herblor and I used one on summoning. After I used my first one, I realized I should have used both of them on summoning because I really need to start getting this level higher, I guess, because, well, it's useful and I need that Bonib. So, anyways, um, I guess for now that will be it and I will be, you know, I will move on to see what else I can do now. I just completed my daily fishing challenge that I just got and if I cash it in, I am pretty sure I should be able to get a fishing level, so... Yes, I was correct. There we go for 79 fishing. Hey, and look at this, doing some random dungeoneering, I guess. And there we go for 68 woodcutting. I know it's not a level to record, but I guess we unlocked Eevee and probably won't even cut it. <laughs> and even more levels. There we go for 65 mining as well. And boys, it's time for a biblical moment. The skill tab was still open, so you guys can see what I'm about to get. So, without any overdue. Ah, there we go, guys. 75 freaking crafting. Which is obviously important skill for many of for many things, actually. Obviously, the main one is the elf city requirement, which should be showcased here. There we go, is one of the requirements for plagues and quests. Other uh, good thing is I am finally able to make rings of slaying for invention when I ever unlock that. Just need to unlock that ability via the slayer points as well. But overall, a really good, important skill and can't work, can't actually really happy to get it. Even though I am still a bit away from um, Elf City, but I will still continue doing DG crafting because it's still important. It's really good XP and it's a lot faster than Harps. So I'll just keep doing it until you know it until I guess I get bored or whatever. But other than that, really happy to get this level once again, and let's move on with the games. And then uh, the level, guys, random DG level. You know, these floors, uh, higher floors, give quite some of XP, so it's pretty fast to get a DG level. But anyways, I'll go for 82 now. I guess gonna currently. Quickly go send out my ships once again and oh polypore dungeon that's not bad um but yeah I guess I will go send out my ships and will do some combat training once again I think and I just completed another cashew guys and there we go for another divination level God this is so freaking fast at this point like I guess one more level and we are halfway to our first 99 which will probably be uh, divination at this point I'm pretty sure so yeah doing nice I guess rock tail bubbles unlocked as well not like I can do them but because well 79 fishing but yeah still a nice level to get obviously my highest skill not to mention level 91 so anyways I'm gonna use the boost as usual and I should be back with either a quest or some slayer games I think and there we go for another easy quest from our uh, level free to quest cape list Two plus points, one key attack, XP, two key prayer, XP, Montaigne's daughter is completed. And there we go for another one. For a strap this time and some nice agility XP, which I chose, obviously. Uh, two plus points and obviously I think this quest should literally be, uh, should be renamed to 
not in a barrel because everyone knows this joke about this quest but anyways um another quest completed i guess 53 agility and now off to do another one and there we go followed by another pretty good quest shadow of the storm this simon this one has some really nice XP, thank you ranged XP, and ranged is my lowest, I guess, combat skill, so yeah, there we go, we got a level from it, that is beautiful, and now off to do another one. And there we go, another one is done, guys, 2 quest points, 4 key crafting XP, and access to Shiloh Village by completing the Shiloh Village quest, of course, so yeah, um... There's some progress this episode, uh, quest-wise, I guess I must say, 160 quest points and a few quests in this episode, and overall, quite a, you know, high-level gains this episode, I'm really liking it, and we can finally, obviously, uh, uh, access the Shiloh village, which will be insane when I, you know, am able to start taking tests from Duradel or whatever that guy is called, because I think you need 100 combat for it, but I'm not sure, but anyways, when I am able to do it, I guess I will be ready for that, but other than that, this will be it for this episode, actually, guys, and before I ended it, I wanted to uh, to give a quick shout out to my friend here, uh, Ralph the Monkey, which is, uh, who is actually called Rug Monkey, because he was actually the one that me about this necklace because I completely forgot and he was mad that I didn't give him a shout out. So I guess there you go, Rug, you slimy cheese ball. Anyways, other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching as usual and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.